From rebel veins my life I drew In rebel arms I lay From rebel lips the lessons new I learned Tonight we're here to commemorate the 40th anniversary of Mara Trump, very inspirational leader, a Sinn Féin vice president, a wife, a mommy, a friend, and from what I've read, a comrade to many. Um, when we talk about invisible women within the struggle, Mara Drum was definitely not an invisible woman. She led from the front, she broke curfews, she spoke at marches, and I wish I could speak as well as she did. Um, to me, an inspiration, and I'm very happy to be here. And I'm, it's a great crowd behind us, so it's a lovely tribute, and it's lovely for her family to be here. I read this week that there's a new Sinn Féin coming in County Louth, and what a more fitting tribute on her 40th anniversary that in her home county there's a common name after. Last week we commemorated Sheena Campbell, another inspirational Sinn Féin member. And like Sheena, Mara was such an inspiration, a true leader of our struggle. And for that reason, the British government, through collusion, decided to murder her. We had these people who were inspirational to many. The British and their, their puppets were frightened of the strength of these women. Rock to rest on a rebel breast, nursed on a rebel knee. Beat prouder still, for good or ill, this rebel hardened me. Well, let me tell you first of all about tonight, why the night's important. Well, Forty years ago, the British government and their allies and their agents decided that a blow would be struck against Republican freedom by the death of Maura Drum. Not simply the physical death of the revolutionary, the activist, the, the woman, but the person who represented an aspiration of a nation. And Maura Drum's death was ordered, sanctioned and carried out. But like all the endeavours of British governments in this country, those deaths, not only did it not dampen the desire for Irish freedom, it inspired the idea of freedom. And Maura Drum represents that. She represents the best of what Irish freedom should represent. She represents those who are in struggle and those who are in need. Maura Drum was a Democrat. Maura Drum was a cur. Maura Drum was a visionary. Maura Drum inspires and inspired Republicans. And if you wanted to sum up the execution or the killing of Maura Drum, I would do it uh, in the song uh, Joe Hill, not an Irish song, but when Joe Hill refers to the person, what they forgot to kill went on to organise. And Maura Drum, 40 years dead, is still an inspiration for organising the fight for Irish freedom. Yesterday afternoon, by complete chance, I was in Lanster House. And I, I observed a debate, and a new Sinn Féin Vice President, Murray Lou MacDonald, was on her feet, incidentally talking about refugees, and about the defenceless, and about the homeless. And a free state politician thought that she was fair game and he could take her on. And she, in, she inspired even hostile TDs who were listening. She defended. She refused to be talked down. She refused to be intimidated. And that is in the footsteps of Maura Drum. So one, if they believed that by killing our first female vice president of this struggle, they certainly didn't, and they inspired our new vice president, Marie Lou MacDonald. A rebel heart, a rebel heart, from pain to thraldom free. Be prouder still, for good or ill, this rebel heart in me.